Uh, welcome back to the Scorecast. Eight. This is Tim and Jack, and this is exciting because we've got graduates from this month, this last month, and we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna showcase some aren't we, Tim. We are, well, apparently, I've got absolutely we no really, idea. Jack has pulled this together. We don't really know what we're doing. Um, I, I haven't right. seen them yet, so I'm excited to see what he's what he's pulled together. Nice upgrade on the uh, red. It's hold it here. What are they, what they officially nose. called? A pop, <laughs> a white, a, a windscreen. I think. <laughs> Where's your T-shirt? I, I was unprepared for what you had planned. Anyway, this is not about us. It is about the graduates and people that have redefined them. Plus, we've got a, a range to show you. Tim hasn't seen these yet, so I'm really excited <laughs> to see what comes out of his mouth when he does see them. Obviously, this is a celebration, but we've, we'll start off with... Bob along at home. Right. So, Jake Hello. Robinson, Good. yes. Metal ring straps. Exactly. It's a real deal. Ooh. Boom. First ring muscle up. How'd you like those apples? Like those apples. Wait, 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 wait. Going for the iron cross. That no. First ring muscle up and an iron cross. Oh, we're worried about that camera angle then. Yeah. The up short shot. I think that's illegal now. But the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the ring muscle up is no mean feat. It's not. It's and on a pair of well. metal steel rings. rings. Yeah. I like those. Um, Maybe slippery when it gets sweaty. And I like the confidence of going then straight then into an iron cross, which actually, to be fair, did pretty good on that. Are you wanting technique pointers or not? Uh, yeah, we can, we, can, we, can go, we can go back and you can talk to us a little bit about, I think that would be nice. Well, the bit that's interesting for me is what happens to the knees halfway up. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the knees. It is. Watch. Whoop. <laughs> Like a mid-air squat. There might have been some sort of... You could talk about the fascial slings going on in that. The, the tension was being generated from the whole chain there, but it was smooth. The speed was good. I like yeah. that. Like a solid... Where we go? Solid false grip. Yeah. At the start there. And wind up with the elbows. Oh, where am I going? That is scary. Hold on. Let's, let's move on. Yeah. We'll, watch him. we'll just watch him one more time. Look. Go on, Jake. Solid. Rings together. Pulls them through. Get in there. Bang virtual classroom member jake is he certainly is and that's what happens when you've uh, been following the weekly program in the virtual classroom tim right oh a flag i can't even pronounce his surname Ooh, look at that. now hang on a minute that is and that's <laughs> legit hold on that, that first one that looked the time on that well i think um whether that's if you can hold it that long you've obviously been able to hold it for yeah a little long but that was his that was his video for I mean, flag graduation. There's no point taking your shirt off in that gym. Is the lighting terrible? <laughs> no down lighting where you've been a cupboard. But how long's he held that for? That's good. That's that's pretty legit. Technique pointers. Arm, top arm, top a bit arm, straight up. But to be fair, the duration. Yeah, for the length of time of hold, that's not that's not. Lo we talked about long enough for a photo. And long enough for that guy lot. to get out of the way with his lunges. <laughs> long, long get him over. <laughs> We're looking at a flag. Get out of the way. Now, Zachary. Virtual classroom. Yeah. Uh, and then another ring must up. Now, I think if our memory serves me correctly, you want to listen out for some of the um, audio. Right. In this one. No swearing, is there? No. There was someone that sent the video, and at the end of it, he, he swore with his fingers. But it was, um, he uh, was sending yeah. it originally to his mate. I've seen that one. But um, he, he then he apologized and appreciated that it would be <laughs> difficult to share that. <laughs> um, right. Go on, Zachary. What? <laughs> this, that was uh, the F. I enjoyed the effort and also the crossing of the legs, which actually yes. took out the strategy that Jake adopted with, with the Bambi legs. This, I like that crossed legs. It reminded Stops me it of from happening. Um, you know when some people cross their legs on um, they were doing bench press. Yes. No, no, that was for anyway. The effort just, oh, Through. is that left elbow above the bar? Yeah. Or the ring even. It had a solid false grip at the start. And then if it, and oh, it, you know, redefining possibilities about doing one. But it's almost like he wanted to try and go slow on the way yeah. down. Um, yeah, the, the speed main... that he came back through there would have been impressive. If he could have stopped that and then gone into a second rep, that would be something to work on, that, decent, that deceleration there, nice. through the rings. And then it's, yeah, maintaining the false grip on that low ring is yeah, tough, to be fair. Hard. And if you want to pin more than one together, then that is, uh, that's going to be necessary. But he had a solid false grip at the start. Um, yeah, and it just shows you that um, I just love, I love the audio on the, of the episode. Yeah, I want to watch how fast he comes down between the rings. There, see, lost false grip. So yeah. that's what you need to work on, nice and slow as you come back through. But I enjoyed the... Uh, if you just want to do speed. one. Yeah, if you don't want to do one. Now this guy. Sean, talk to me. 
uh, SNC coach the background, yeah. at Eton College. Great guy. We met him at the UKCA conference, came on a coaching seminar, absolute top class. And that back knee were looking tidy. I just had one question for Sean. Was his toe actually holding him up on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. Joking, he's got a brand new rig and, and also is doing some great stuff at, with the guys at Eaton Coast. They're loving it. But Sean is also like late on to his calisthenics journey. He hasn't got a background and is, is fully on board with redefining his impossible. I yeah. like that when you sent it to you. The line's really nice. And his whole, yeah, he's not a, he's, I'm sure he won't mind us saying he's no spring chicken and he's come into this. Neither are we. Yeah, I know exactly. But people, okay, things we ask all the time, like how, oh, I'm 25. Is it too late for me to start calisthenics? <laughs> yeah. No. And it's, uh, there's people a lot older. And, and also the great thing about Sean is what he's introducing it in with the, the kids at, yeah. at Eton College. So uh, good work, Sean. love that one. And it was nice to show us still rather yeah. than a video. Yeah. Um, so as he comes through, I think next we have got oh, oh, this outdoors. one now, Jeremy. This is a, this this I love because there's a lot of anticipation and he's he doesn't taken start a... from the bottom exactly. So he makes well, I, I think he makes it. To, so we were talking about going slow on the way down. So he decides to start at the top, right? And it, you know there are no rules. Do what you want. So he maintains his false grip on the way that down to nice. the bottom, and then kapow, boom, through between Ooh. the rings. There's his first ring muscle up. He almost sort of did one and a half, but that's how he wanted to do it. I think he goes for a, to go for another one, and then calls it a day. <laughs> <laughs> because he spent so much energy on the uh, on the way on the maintaining that false grip on the way down. It was nice actually that that came then after the one before we were talking yep. about. Yeah, and pausing all how tough that is. He wasn't afraid to give the hip a nudge to get a little bit of upward speed, which is a helpful little tactic if you want to use we talk about that as like the, the tuck up ring muscle up yes and the tuck up version it is an option that you have available to you if you want to um if you want to clean that up a little bit it's just going to come from getting some snap out of that hang position which is not easy it takes a bit of time to so just train some higher faster pulling movements from the bottom of the dead hangs and then that will come with some time good yeah. outdoors blue sky yeah it's, it's the lovely. life Brilliant. I think we've got one. We've got two more. This one now. Oh, I you're, we're wondering when we're going to get some hand balance. Yeah, and you're wondering. And so this is this gives an array of this first frog stand from Ankucha. What's great about this is she didn't go into the forehand stand. This was her like it was like stoked about her first yeah. uh, frog stand. So um, there's a couple of things that happened during <laughs> it. One thing to pay out for is um, uh, a stability tool. Right. comes out from the locker <laughs> in the form of an animal <laughs> and then also pay attention to what she might be listening to on the tv what a cat that's you jack that cat <laughs> so she was listening <laughs> she was listening the cat was trying to pull her down and she maintained lovely form and she was actually i love the fact that she was Following along one of the tutorials of how to work on a grog stand, you got something to say about the cat thing? Well, it's just, I was, I was, it obviously doesn't like a grog stand. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. But the good, good position here, no, I like that. And the cat is yeah, nice high hips. Just thinking there's a, there's a mouse in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's a hair bubble. Good though, hips nice and high, looking strong. And frog stand. wasn't put off by the cat. Yeah, I don't. I think if, if during my first frog stand, I'd have certainly been put off by a cat. Yeah, I've tried to do it with my dog around before. It does get difficult when you've got live animals in the practice. Right, next, last one. Yeah, no, Amy. I saw a glimmer of this yes. before. All the way from the United States this of America. Is clean. This oh, is tidy. Bosh. Yeah, all day in the transition. And first then ring. That bit there, go muscle up. Yes. Finish it off. There is a whole. Uh, array of concentration on that face and the celebration <laughs> at the end the tongue, the tongue celebration and nicely controlled down yeah so i enjoyed that that was this month's graduates now i think there was potentially more that was for how many i managed to pull together for this month but it's something that we would uh, to showcase what people are doing um and to have a little bit of fun with it is uh, hopefully we can bosh yeah. a few more of these out. We actually are really, when we see this sort of stuff, when you guys send us graduation videos, it, it massively makes us happy. And um, 
we're super excited to see what people are doing. It's what it's all about. And we know that we're not perfect. And some of that stuff that we post isn't always ideal. So it doesn't matter. It's the, the point is you're redefining really possible. Sending us something that you guys are proud of and what you've achieved is just awesome. And we want to celebrate that. And that you don't underestimate how much it inspires other people to get out there and do some trading and, and to push themselves on and to believe what they might be able to achieve. So it's not just me and Jacko. Yeah. It's actually for everybody. So I think that's a really thanks to those guys who share those with us. It yeah, and that's a, lot. a really important point that you'd make on the the, the graduation uh, information that that's in the in the classrooms around um, this idea that it's about progress rather than perfection. And you're, you know, you own your movement. Your it's to do with whether you're happy with and proud of the re, the impossible that you've done, whether that's a frog stand, whether it's a human flag, or whatever it may be. Um, and it doesn't have to be. Um, we're not stri- We're not. Doesn't have to be perfect before we can be proud of and happy with with our first rep of. Yeah, otherwise, something. you never post anything. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't post a picture of my handstand yet because I'm not quite. Happy with it. <laughs> still not. Still not. Depends still how much of a perfectionist you well, are. Somebody as well. posted the day said, "Oh, I'm still working my handstand," and they've been going like six months. I'm like, I'm still working on mine. I'm going five years. Yeah. Still not. It's we're all a work in progress, but it's good to make these little celebrations along the way. So, if you um, are uh, feeling like you have graduated, then. Um, Either email us, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, wherever you want to find us. Send your video and we look forward to celebrating with everybody in the, the community as well. Class dismissed. <laughs>